welcome back to this week's episode of Bruin Banter or Zoom in Banter because, you know, social distancing, it's making it hard to have a one on one interview. But we wanted to give all the seniors on the team an opportunity to just have one last time on Bruin Banter just because I wanted all of them on the show. And I'm sure you guys want to hear from them as well. And I'm super excited to announce our first guest, Macy Taranjo. Hey, y'all. Macy, thanks for being on the show. Um, I heard you're done with school, so that's awesome. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's it's weird to be done with college finally after five years. It doesn't quite feel like it yet, probably because we're still in quarantine. But yeah, it's nice to not have to go to any Zoom lectures or anything. <laughs> That is nice. It's definitely been a little bit tricky and a little bit hard, but no, after this is all over, all the seniors, we have to get together and celebrate because we didn't get that opportunity, so. Oh yeah, 100%. We need to to celebrate. Yes. (laughs) So uh, Macy, where are you social distancing right now? So I actually just came back home to Texas. I booked a one-way flight. And it's crazy, like, I was able to use my miles, and it cost me $5.60 to fly all the way back to Texas. Oh, my <laughs> Which is God. crazy. Oh and there was, like, 10 people on my flight, which is also crazy. But, yeah, I think for the remainder of the quarantine, I'll be in Texas. Um, I'm definitely coming back to L.A., I'm just not sure when that is. Yeah, definitely. I feel that. I went back home too. Um, thankfully, my home isn't as far as Texas, um, only like 35 minutes away from campus. But I think especially during this time, it's nice to just be with family. And it's also a nice opportunity just to get close to our loved ones, especially if we don't get to see them very often. So I think that's awesome that you went home. Yeah, I was reluctant to come home because, you know, both my parents are in the medical industry and they're still working. And my brother's actually not home yet. So I'm actually all by myself, but it's in a bigger house than my tiny apartment in Westwood. So, (laughs) but it's definitely nice to be home. I feel that. Well, thank you to your parents for putting themselves out there to protect everybody else. I think that's really awesome. And um, I know you're probably taking good care of them at home. (laughs) Oh yeah. (laughs) So instead of meet highlights, we're going to do career highlights because every senior on this team has had such an amazing career. So we just want to highlight those different things. And with Macy, she's got quite a few. The first one being her first meet back after her freshman season, tearing her rotator cuff, getting surgery, coming back and hitting an amazing floor routine against Bridgeport and Utah State. Macy, how was that? What did you feel like? It was such an amazing experience. It was the first time I got to really represent my school and my teammates and just everything I had been working for. And I kind of had two major obstacles before I competed floor for the first time. I came back from a rotator cuff tear and I also had a bit of a health scare. In preseason, I went blind which (laughs) there's an old Bruin Banter episode on all of that. But yeah, I had a little bit of a health scare and it just kind of gave me a different appreciation for life. Just really enjoying it in in all aspects, whether that be, you know, any type of obstacle you're facing or the times when you feel very victorious and you accomplish, you know, what you've been working for. So yeah, that was a a great, great day. All right, Macy, the next highlight we're going to talk about is the first time you competed bars ever. It was at Utah last season in 2019, and you had been exhibitioning bars all season long. How did it feel to compete bars for the first time and make lineups? You know, it was a terrifying experience (laughs) having not competed bars in three, four years. (laughs) And he didn't warn me either. Chris did not warn me when we because we were at Utah. And I had never been to Utah before, and it was like a sea of red. I walk in and you know, they always put our lineup orders like on the whiteboard in the locker room. And I saw my name like on the lineup spot and I was like, oh, all right, we're gonna gonna do this. No, but I totally feel you on that. 2019 was the first time I had ever competed bars really in college. 
And yeah, the last time I had competed bars before that was probably, shoot, like, yeah, five years, six years before that. Like, bars was not my thing. But I totally feel you. It's so scary, but. It's so scary. It's the only event that's like, I get scared of in like a week. I'm like scared again. <laughs> Honestly, now I feel like bars is such a fun event to compete on, especially kind of like once you get the hang of it. Like after that, you started competing bars more and you got into your groove and that was really awesome. Oh, thanks, Fishy. <laughs> So the last highlight that we're gonna talk about was from this season where you exhibition beam against Utah as well um, for the first time since 2017. How was that? How was getting up on the beam again in front of Polly? You know, being in Polly is always a magical experience. We have our home crowd in and they're just the most amazing fans. And I was so nervous but I had been training very well. Beam is actually my, one of my favorite events to train. Ever since I had to take off pretty much an entire year from my shoulder surgery, I kind of struggled with the whole confidence thing um, on Beam. And Beam is basically 98% confidence, I feel like. But working with Christina and just really dialing in on my mental game really helped me and I was I just kept telling myself positive things. I was like, you're good, you got this. I went through my beam routine, I don't know, probably like 10 times in my head throughout the meet. And yeah, I was able just to calm down and dial it in and it was it was so fun. It's always a great time competing in poly, yeah. And that beam routine was beautiful. Once you hit your series, I was like, oh, she's good. Yeah, same, I was like, oh, okay, I'm good now. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, moving on to Twitter questions. The first one comes from Sydney and she asks, do you regret taking a fifth year since you got such an abrupt end to your gymnastics career or would you have made the same decision regardless? Oh, that's such a good question. Um, I definitely would have made the same decision. I don't regret going back for a fifth year at all. I've been told by many grownups, you know, if you can stay in college as long as you can, do it. I said, all right. And a part of me after last year was like, you know what? I'm just, I'm not done. I was so honored and so blessed that I got to be here for this transitional period with UCLA Gymnastics, with the coaching change. It was by no means easy. It was, in any case, it's never going to be easy. But, you know, Chris really took a hold of this team and I think he did an amazing job. And I remember in, in our my exit meeting last year, I said, you know, Chris, there's a reason this is happening right now when you're going to have nine seniors. When are you ever going to have nine seniors? All the seniors, all the nine of us, I think there's nine at least, we are all very individual people. And I think we all have very strong personalities. But I think Fishy, you, me, and like all the other seniors really worked very well together. And I think it really made a family this year. And kudos to you, dude, and to all of us, because I think we really took the reins of this family this year. And it was so fun. And I don't regret it one bit. I would not change a single thing besides maybe season ending early. That was sad. Yeah, no, I totally feel you like. The seniors, yeah, having nine seniors, like it kind of sounds like a nightmare, but we all worked together so well. And, you know, there were times where we had to be honest with each other. Like we weren't going to give each other the short end of the stick. Like we were just going to lay it all out there. And that's what we all decided as a class from the beginning of season, from the beginning of, you know, when we all reported all together, like we were going to go through this together. We were going to be honest with each other, even if it was hard to hear. And I think that's what we did. And we stayed true to ourselves and to our teammates. Yeah, and it it turned out so amazing. It, it was honestly such a fun year. Probably one of the funnest years I've ever had, which I don't know if I can say that, but <laughs> but I it, it really was. It felt like a family to me, which yeah. was awesome. It's okay. I think it was probably one of the most fun years too. <laughs> Oops. This question comes from at Queen Collie, and they ask, if you could give your freshman year self one piece of advice, what would you say? I'd, I'd tell myself to get more sleep. <laughs> I was super social. I mean, I still am, but I kind of didn't take care of myself that much. Like, 
I was great at my rehab, I was great at making friends, <laughs> but I did not sleep a lot. And that was probably one of my <laughs> big pieces of advice. And I'm like, I love my bed and I want to go to sleep. <laughs> And the last Twitter question comes from at JMBlue73, and they ask, what's the most embarrassing thing to happen to you while competing? Oh, I love this question. <laughs> um, it actually was the same meet that I competed in floor lineups the first time my sophomore year. I don't know what I tripped on, but I tripped when we were running out, and I, when I say face planted, I fell down. And like... <laughs> I just popped right back up and kept running. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. That was pretty funny. I was like, well, we can only go up from here. <laughs> so Macy, we're coming up on the end of our senior year. What are your future plans? Do you plan on coming back to LA? I know that's what you want to do. What What's going through your head right now? Oh, man. Um, You know, I've been thinking about it a lot. And... I have always had a huge passion for the film industry and acting, and I know it's a little bit of a cliche thing to say, but I'd love to pursue acting, and I've actually signed up for a few online um, acting classes, which I've started. Um, however, I am aware of economically what is going on in our country, and it's going to be a bit rough for a while, so... I was actually talking with my mom yesterday, like on a walk, and I I also love science, and coming from a medical household, I know a lot about medicine, and that's why I'm kind of the team mom, because I'm like, what, what do you feel like? Do you have a cold? Like, whatever, and uh, <laughs> I also have a huge passion for science, and I, my mom was telling me there's a few accelerated programs I'd have to move back to Texas for probably about a year, maybe a year and a half. And it would be a great way to also um, be able to help people out and go to nursing school. And I can always, the good thing about nursing school is it's shift work. So you get signed up for shifts on certain days and certain days you don't have to work, you have the day off. And that would kind of work well with acting if I choose to do that. But yeah, I'm just kind of seeing what all my options are, but I definitely say acting and nursing are my two biggest passions right now. Wow, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. I knew about the acting, but I had no idea about the nursing stuff. So Yeah, I, I haven't told that many people about it. <laughs> but I literally could picture you as such a great nurse, um, but she really is the team mom. So the last meet that we had was against Cal. And I was a little bit sick, like just a cold, like a little sinus thing. And I go back into the locker room and Macy was like, you want some Advil cold and flu? And I was like, yeah. She's like, I promise you, like you will feel so much better. And this medicine just cleared me up. Oh my gosh. Amazing. So thank you to Macy. <laughs> always. I always got you fishy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Macy, for being our first guest on Zoom and Banter. It was so awesome talking with you and catching up. Um, I'm so happy that you're happy and you're pursuing the things that you want to pursue. Um, I'm I'm just really happy for you. Oh, thanks, Fishy. And thanks so much for having me on the show. I miss you. Oh, I miss you, too. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We will be reaching out to the rest of the seniors who haven't been on Brew and Banter yet because I know you guys definitely want to hear from them. But yeah, I hope you all are staying safe and we love you so much. And don't forget, keep your eye out for future episodes because more will be coming. But other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye! Bye! <laughs>